welcome back guys to another Monday plan with me. So I'm playing from June 26th through to July the 2nd. I can't believe we're in the last week of June. That's just crazy. The kit that I'm using today is from Planable Designs and it's their fashion blogger kit. I love the artwork and all of the colours in this kit and I think I'm drawn to it more because I'm a beauty and fashion blogger. So it's just kind of cool to me. But I'm super excited to use this kit for this week. So I'm just going to take the washi strips and cut them in half as usual because normally in the Erin Condren you would put these along the bottom but because I'm using my Happy Planner I just split them in half. And I'm going to be covering up the bottom black lines in my planner because I don't like them this week which is something that I normally do. But as the date covers are blue this week I thought I would leave them uncovered so I'm just going to continue that line all the way across the whole page. And then I'm just going to keep whatever I have left because sometimes I like to reuse that and I did actually in this spread a bit later which you will see. So I'm going to go in day by day as usual and I'm just going to take a dark blue to do header. Then I took a page flag and turned it onto its side and just used a movie kind of icon little thing just to mark what I wanted to upload this plan with me. So next up I put down my full box which has got a coffee cup and some paper aeroplanes, it's really cute. And then I stuck on a half box because I needed to edit a video. I actually recorded two videos last week, so I didn't actually need to record this week, so I just had to edit. And I also put a little film slate icon. For my today section, I sat down a grey today header and then a heart checklist or an ombre checklist. And then I just wrote down everything that I wanted to get done on Monday. I then took a paw print icon to put next to getting my cat a new collar and I did put the car icon down next to when I had to pick my car up but I didn't like how big and bulky it was so I took it off and it did rip the page a little bit but we're going to make do with that one this week. I'm not going to start pulling around different things. So next I sat down two strips of patterned washi and then this heart little things because I had to write down that my son had a club on this day. And then underneath there I put down a half box because I needed to mark down that my son had to go back over to his school because he has a play in the evening and I just put down the ticket kind of icon that was in the kit which I thought worked really well. I then decided I didn't like how heavy everything looked so I peeled up the washi and the little thing but then the little thing wouldn't stick back down so I had to get a new little thing and then I just moved the half box up a little bit just to free up a little bit of space so it didn't look so crowded and then I just wrote back on top of the little thing that my son had a club. I think I have yet to film a plan with me that just goes smoothly and I don't need to peel stickers back up. I'll get there one day. So for Tuesday I'm going to use a little bit of the washi that was left over from my bottom washi strip. So I just cut a section off, I knew I wanted to have the coffee cup so I cut a little bit extra and then I put this coffee date sticker which comes with the kit and then I just trimmed off what was left down at the bottom. These stickers were pretty hard to pull up, you'll see that I do struggle with this quite a bit. And then I just wrote underneath that I was meeting up with my friend for coffee in the morning. For my full box I went with this really pretty one, it's got like a Starbucks cup and a phone and kind of a selfie picture. So I went with that one. Then I stuck down a half box and I just needed to mark down that my son had swim club. So sometimes in kits, if the deco is really large, I try my best to try and incorporate it into my plans as like a functional piece. So I did have to go through and organize my wardrobe and then this kind of hanging rack was in the large deco. So I thought it was perfect to use as a functional item in my plans. So for Wednesday I started with a to clean header which was on a kind of glitter background and then I just had to lift up the coffee date sticker a little bit because it had just gone over the line. And then I just put down my ombre heart checklist, took it out of my planner because my hand was by the coil and I find it really hard to write when it's near the coil. That's one thing I love about the happy planners is that the pages can come out and go back in. Then I just write down everything that I wanted to get done on Wednesday morning. Then I took a piece of glitter washi and used it as a header and then I also used this really large mirror piece of deco 
to um, a mark down that I wanted to clean all the mirror so instead of putting it on the ombre hot checklist above I thought I would use the deco as another functional piece. For my to-do section I put down a dark blue to-do header and then chose a full box, this one which has got cameras on which I thought was perfect because I wanted to mark down that I needed to upload my video on Wednesday. Then underneath I put a page flag down on its side and I needed to mark down some time for homework. And I also used the laptop sticker which came with the kit and put it in between the kind of gap that's left there. I'm just going to put this back into my planner and then we can move on to the second half of the week. So for Thursday I put down a grey today header and then an ombre hot checklist which is in this really pretty blue glitter background. I really love this. Just needed to jot down a few things that I needed to get done on Thursday. This is just throughout the day. I didn't have to do it all in the morning. Then I put down two pieces of washi just to kind of cover up that black line because I didn't want to put a header in yet. And then on top of that, I just put a little things, I think it was a heart one I used. Yep, <laughs> and then I needed to write down that I needed to change my contacts on this day. Next, I put my to-do header down, which was blue, and then another full box, which again has got laptops and a coffee on, which is perfect because I needed to block off a chunk of time but I'm working on my stickers for my Etsy shop. I'm so excited for you guys to see these stickers. I've been working super hard, and of course I'm gonna let you know when my shop is gonna be up and running, and I will probably give you a sneak peek of them too. But I'm very excited. So I wanted to spend the afternoon just working on my stickers and getting them into the right kits. At the bottom of the page, I started to put my little things down, so I put a kind of a few colours because I like to have different colours, I don't like them to all be the same. And then I put my little things header at the top. Then I went to write on them and if you've got one kind of wonky, they all go wonky. So once I'd adjusted one, I had to adjust them all. But I just needed to mark down, I had Scandal on, I need to put the bins out and I have Billions on. For Friday, I wanted a different header. So I took a piece of the washi and just trimmed it down to the right size. On Friday I have a payday and the sticker came with the kit along with a bill due. Then I put down a full box and I'm leaving it blank because I'm not sure what I'm doing yet. I'm actually filming this on a Friday instead of a Sunday so I'm not sure. For my half box I want to put washi behind it and you can use your sticker sheets to put it down and place them down perfectly and then pick it up as a whole sticker. So if you struggle to line them up and it always goes a bit wrong then try sticking it on your sticker sheet, getting it where you like it and then peeling it up as a whole sticker. So I used the half box to mark down that I needed to do a test print of the stickers that I've been working on. Underneath I put a page flag down onto its side and then stuck a coffee deco sticker on top and then wrote down bullet journal because I needed to update my bullet journal on the Friday. So underneath I put my little things, I always have a film on for the Friday because me and my daughter watch a film every Friday together as like a mother daughter girly night kind of situation. And then in the space at the bottom, I put down the hashtag TGIF, which came with the kit. For the weekend, I put down two pieces of patterned washi as headers, and then I wanted to use up what was left from the bottom washi, so I just cut that down to size. I'm also going to do another strip underneath, leaving a gap in between. And this is just going to be a background behind my weekend banner, which will fill that gap in. I always feel bad if I've got a lot of leftover washi, so I try to use it up, and this is how I decided to do it this week. So underneath on the Saturday, I have a spending checklist. Now this checklist is actually going to be quite long because it's coming up to the end of the school year and I have, you know, mummy life, mummy life. I told you it's gonna be so long that I actually needed to have two ombre hot checklists. I don't think I've ever put two together before, but I just needed it for this day. There's actually a few more things that I needed to fit in, but it, it was just not gonna happen. So my full box wouldn't completely fit in, so I just trimmed it down to size because I really love this full box and I really wanted to use it. So I just trimmed it down to size and it fits perfectly. So for Sunday, I put down a today header with a piece of glitter washi tape and then this planning time sticker on top. Underneath, I just wanted to write down that I was going to film my plan with me on a Sunday as usual, although I may swap it to the Friday as it does give me more time to edit and do a voiceover. 
So underneath I put down a to-do header and I wanted to keep it quite short and I definitely didn't want to use an ombre check box again because I felt it would be too heavy. So I just used the little checklist strips and wrote down the usual things that I would do on a Saturday which is the uniforms, PE kits, homework, etc. Underneath I put down this full box which I was going to use at the top of my page in the sidebar but I decided to go with a different one. So this piece of washi is the bit that I cut off from my full box on the Saturday. I just reused it as kind of like a background behind my full box. I then put down my habit tracker for my Instagram and then a next week header along with an ombre heart checklist. Then I just placed two pieces of patterned washi together just to kind of fill up that gap. And then I had a big gap at the bottom, so I took one of the ombre heart checklist, the sparkly one, and just chopped off the hearts. I then put this into the space at the bottom and just trimmed it down to size. On top of that, I put a do not disturb planning in progress, which is quite apt for this week because I just need to not be disturbed when I'm working a lot this week. So then I just put down my habit tracker header, which is obviously for my Instagram, and then filled in my next week section. I definitely wanted to try and use some of the deco that came up with this kit because it's all so pretty. I love it all. It is pretty big, but I did manage to fit it all in. So I just kind of put random pieces in different spots and just filled up gaps that were left. I placed the girl on Tuesday and she looks kind of cute just hanging out with a Starbucks coffee. I love her there. I also put the little coffee cups around, the pictures, and just kind of put everything in where I could fit it. So this is everything that I've got left from the kit. I did manage to use quite a lot and this kit was quite a big one. I never know what to do with these weekly ombre boxes so if you guys use them let me know how you use them down below. Here's a close up of this week's spread. I hope you guys have enjoyed it. If you did then make sure you give me a thumbs up button and don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and I will see you all next week. Bye guys!